How strong is Iko Mikidomoe, the terrifyingly powerful ancient hollow from the Khan Fira Own World novel, who at different points had fought with Genryu Sayamamoto, Ichibei Hiosube, Oetsunemaya, and at one point, Baragan Luizenbarn. Iko Mikidomoe emerged from a far ancient time before the Serete was formed into its present shape, and when shortly after, Genryu Sai was referred to as a young hero, before the Shinigami gained their ultimate weapon, the Zanpakuto, with the exception of beings like Ichibei Hiosube. Iko Mikidomoe refused to take on a human form and would remain in the form of an Adhuchas. Furthermore, he was the strongest hollow in Weko Mundo, even while the likes of Baragan, Luiz, and Barn existed. In fact, he and Baragan fought, but due to a mutual respect for each other, they simply decided to go their separate ways. Following this, Iko Mikidomoe would devour countless beings, as a result, adding their spiritual powers to himself. He would leap out of Weko Mundo through the living world and to the soul society, all while devouring everything in his path. After a battle with a young Genryu Sayamamoto and other soul reapers, he scaled the heavens, intending on consuming the soul king but was defeated by Ichibei Hiosube and Oetsu Nimaya. Here Ichibei would name him Iko Mikidomoe, drastically reducing his power, and Oetsu would seal him in the form of a sword. This weakened sword form was stolen by Tokinara Suneyashiro and given to Ikone Ubugino. But even in this state, it could spawn an infinitely expanding army of Adhuchas class hollows, which devoured Reishi and continuously multiplied, and Iko Mikidomoe himself could grow to the size of a small mountain, while possessing vast lord class spiritual pressure, and could rival multiple captains, around cars, and queens simultaneously, and could later shrink down further, increasing the strength of its spiritual pressure to that of an Arankar class, and had spiritual pressure comparable to or greater than the likes of Baragan Luizenbarn. This form could challenge multiple resurrection Arankars and Quinces. But the most terrifying things about Iko Mikidomoe were his past form, his abilities, and the strength he gained after consuming a portion of the Rayo's essence from Ikone. Being somewhat similar to Aroniero, Iko Mikidomoe could grow infinitely. While he doesn't gain their ability, every time he eats something with spiritual power, he gains gains a spiritual power and adds it to himself. He had consumed so many hollows that the number approached the number of grains of sand on a beach. This is of course referring to his old form. And if they had destroyed him like a Quincy would, which is like using a vaccine, he might have tipped the scale of the worlds by himself due to the amount of souls he contained. Furthermore, while their abilities could affect him, neither Oetsu Nimaya or Ichibei Hiosube could destroy him entirely, owing to his extremely dense singular existence and massive spiritual pressure. He was too dense and had too much spiritual pressure to be erased. After he had consumed a portion of the Reio from Ikone, he gained the power to negate Ichibei's Shikai and Bankai seal, stepping into a whole other realm of power and concept negation. Breaking through the name Iko Mikidomoe tells us that Ichibei's Bankai effect was removed, and recalling its name tells us that it broke through Ichimonji's Shikai power. The willful calamity indeed. 